I'm with Alice at 9227 Maverick Pass in the Lincoln Park subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This would be the condition of the home as of the date of this video, which is April 30th, 2015, just after 5 p.m. in the afternoon. This subdivision is close to the medical center, also close to I-10 and 1604. We have north side schools. Got some uh, nice trees here in the front. Take a look inside. This is a, uh, we got all brick exterior, four sides brick. We got two car garage in the front with a garage door opener. I'm not going to show the inside of the garage because it's a pretty standard garage. Got some nice uh, stone uh, decorations here in the front. Again, some nice trees. The house itself is a three bedroom, two bath. Square footage is roughly 1,614 square feet. It's a single story. Take a look inside. Okay, so a quick layout of the floor plan here. Of course, in the front is the living room, uh, kitchen area. Around the corner is the three bedrooms. So right here in the front, we have beautiful uh, laminate floors, nice neutral colors, and we have ceiling fans uh, in all the bedrooms and in the living room. Let's head over to the right and go towards the bedrooms and we'll end up in the uh, kitchen and in the backyard. So going down the hallway, we have the laminate uh, throughout the hallway also. I always call the master's bedroom number one. So the secondary bedrooms, I start with bedroom number two. So this is bedroom number two. In nice neutral colors, ceiling fans. And there is your uh, closet space. To my immediate left is the hall bath. We've got a full bath here, we got uh, ceramic tile. Got your commode, shower, and tub combination with the uh, tile um, shower. Behind this door is the, uh, it's got a linen closet there, that's why it was banging the other doorknob. Okay, let's head to the right. This will be bedroom number three. This is larger than the previous bedroom. Uh, I believe it's about 13 feet by 12 feet, so a very good size uh, for a secondary bedroom. We've got a ceiling fan. Got the nice uh, sun blocking shades and then your closet space there. Here is, in focus, there is the door to the garage. Again, two car garage with a garage door opener. Then we have the masters. Also have a ceiling fan here. Let me go in the corner so you can get a perspective of the size. Uh, you should be able to fit a king size bed and have room for nightstands and then maybe use a uh, put the put the uh, a larger dresser against a different wall so it's a good size bedroom where here we have a nice walk-in closet has some uh, shelves there so you can kind of organize your items and then it goes on the other side too Then we have the master bathroom. Again, ceramic tile here. We have dual sinks, um, commode and nice uh, deep garden tub for relaxing after a long day at work. And then you got the shower. I also like these, I think they're called plantation shutters. Uh, they can pop out so you get more light uh, directly. Let me show you what I mean here. So you can kind of open them up, get some more sunlight. Or you can just uh, kind of move the louvers there. All right, so that's nice. All right, let's head back towards the kitchen. Okay, we have a nice open kitchen, dual sinks. Let's go around the corner here. This will be a breakfast nook where you can put your dining room table. You can fit a pretty good sized table. And what I like also is that bench sitting, seating. Uh, you can kind of sit over there or you can move the table towards that direction if you'd like. Put a uh, cushion there. Have a kitchen island. We have a self-cleaning oven and stove. 
built-in microwave. You got lots of counter space and lots of cabinet space. Then you have the dishwasher. And I kind of like that's open here. So if you're uh, preparing stuff in the kitchen, you can still um, be part of a conversation there. Right off the kitchen, we have the utility room, wash and dryer hookups. And the other half of this is your pantry. So we got some baskets and shelves. There's the same uh, shutters as in the master bathroom. And then we got a great backyard. We got a very nice large patio. So if you want to do barbecue out here for some lawn chairs. And then what I really like about this house is the fact that it's on a green belt. So there is no back neighbor. It just backs trees. And actually if I zoom in here, there is a little gate here. You can go out uh, if you want to go exploring back there in the, uh, Greenbelt area. Let me go over here and show you the perspective again. Got some nice uh, bushes here to kind of give you a little bit of privacy from your left side neighbor. And very nice. It's pretty quiet out here, and the traffic uh, going by the house is very minimal because it's a uh, dead end subdivision. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.